Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome to another episode of Learning C++ 20. So, in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about default comparisons, which brings us to the spaceship operator, which is this less than, equal to, greater than. So, what the spaceship operator allows us to do is tell the compiler to go ahead and generate the operators, um, or these comparison operators for us automatically, right? So, you know, we don't have to worry about writing all this boilerplate code inside of our structs or our objects. And so this is a really useful feature because, you know, this boilerplate code, you know, while it's not um, necessarily that difficult to write, um, it does take some time. And if the compiler can do it for us, well, why don't we, you know, just go ahead and tell the compiler to do it, um, save everyone some time. So let's go ahead and look at a simple example of, you know, a situation where we'd want, say, the spaceship operator. So we'll go ahead and go to spaceship and we'll open up our example. So here we see a very simple struct, you know, similar to the example. So we go ahead and have a couple data members, A and B. And then before we do anything, let's go ahead and copy out the spaceship operator and we'll go down to the bottom of our code. So here we see that, you know, our kind of use case here is we're creating a couple instances of this ints struct. And then we go ahead and push them back into a vector. And then we call std sort on the vector. Now there's an inherent problem here. And that's the fact that um, we're not going to be able to actually use std sort yet. And the reason why is said in this, uh, this compilation error, it says no match for the less than operator, right? So we can't really compare two instances of inst um, to each other because we actually haven't implemented the operator yet. So if we go back up here, you know, a very simple implementation that we could do for this operator um, is we could just manually implement it. So we could just say, uh, we'll do a first comparison on both the A data members uh, to see if, you know, one A is less than the other A. Otherwise, we could check to see, you know, if they're equal to each other. We go ahead and move on to check to see if B is less than the other B, right? A very natural way to implement this. But the very nice thing about the spaceship operator that we see right here um, is that we don't have to do any of this boilerplate code and we automatically get, you know, this less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, etc. Um, comparisons without having to do anything. So here you see that, um, you know, with this syntax right here, we could just go ahead and set it to default like we would a default constructor. So here we can go ahead and um, we can recompile this code and you see we're actually able to go ahead and sort our um, our vector automatically. So if we go ahead and go back in um, to spaceship.cpp, we see that if we did the exact same thing in terms of, uh, you know, let's go ahead and use our own implementation of the less than operator and comment out the spaceship operator, you see, you know, it works just as well. But in this case, with the spaceship operator, we didn't have to do anything, right? We basically told the compiler, go ahead and generate this code for me because you know how to do it, right? So the spaceship operator is really nice because it allows us to very easily, um, you know, automatically use things like sets that require us to implement, things like the less than operator, things like std sort, where of course we need a comparison operator without really having to do any of the work. So that's gonna go ahead and do it for this video. As always, all this code can be found at github.com slash coffee before arch. So go ahead and check it out here under repositories, C20 samples, and here it's under this spaceship repository. So like I said, go ahead and check this out, play around with it. Let me know if you have any questions, and as always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.